I hope you're doing well. Um, great to see you as usual. Um, today I want to talk about finding your currency. Um, let's pray. Father, I thank you for this time. Father, I thank you for this time together, and I thank you that you have seen fit for all of us to gather. Um, Lord God, I, I pray that you would fill my mouth with your word, oh God. And Father, I pray that you would fill every heart, every spirit, every soul with this word, Lord God, that you've given me. And I pray that we will find your currency either and spend it well. Father, I pray that the investment that you put in each of us will bring a return back to you. I speak to me, speak through me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um... A few weeks ago, I was in church. Um, many people call it streaming church, but I don't call it streaming church. I call it in church. So I was in church a few weeks ago, and uh, the preacher was preaching, and um, um, and um, after he after he was done, um, the Lord okay. The church that I attend online is one of those churches where they have a year end offering. Some churches do this at the end of the year. Some churches do it at the beginning and call it first fruits. It's where you give over and above your tithe um, to, to whatever, um, to the church. And some churches um, come around the word. Some churches just tell you to, tell you if you want to, to give over and above um, what you would normally for the tithe. And my personal thing is I've I've done it because it works <laughs> I've seen it work miracles in my finances and in my life so I've done it every year so as I was debating this year what to give and what to give for my year end offering over and above my gift that I usually give every week, um, the, the Lord gave me this word. He said, the currency I want from you is your creativity. Um, and that, that is, as I was praying when the preacher was finished preaching, I, w I went around my house and and um, started to pray and that's about the year end offering and about what to do and I did give to this year's year's year end offering at my church but um, he said the currency that I really want from you is not money he said it is your creativity and I said what do you mean isn't is it what you want money um, he said no money is only one step type of currency there are several um, types of currency that um, I I've get I've given each person and I tried to get a technical 
definition of currency this morning, but for some reason, uh, the website, the Merriam-Webster website, wasn't working. So, um, I'm just going to give it a shot from Rachel's definition and look up the technical definition later. I think currency is um, um, a tool that you can use to barter, that you can use to um, barter, spend, save, or invest. Here's Rachel's definition of currency. My definition of currency is a tool that a person can use to barter, save, spend, or invest. So, money is a currency because you can barter with it, spend it, save it, or invest it. Love is a currency because you can barter with it. Like, what I mean by barter, I mean you can say I'll I'll do I'll do I'll do this if you do that. Like it's trading something for something else. And some people do that with their love. And what I mean by spending your love is that you can you can use it and just give it away just freely just to anyone or you can invest your love um, in a relationship and that's what marriage is. that's one part of marriage where you where you both parties are are investing their love they're they're putting it away and they're not looking for a return but in the process of time they will get a return on on their love whether it be from another person or whether it be from something else um, or you can save it, like just not not give it away at all. So currency, that may be a bad example, but currency is a tool that somebody can use to barter, save, in, invest, or spend. So you can do that with love. You can do that with wisdom. You can do that with joy. You can do that with almost anything. Anything can be a currency. And the, the Lord is asking, what is your currency that he's given you to give back to him, to to invest in somebody, to in to um, improve somebody's life. Um, that love example may have been a bad example, but what I was, what I'm trying to say, is there are different types of currency, and the Lord is really saying, "What is your currency?" What have I given you to spend, invest, save, or, or barter with? Um, and for me, because I'm a songwriter, it's creativity. Because I'm a songwriter, a story writer, and a creative writer, he said, um, he said, the currency I want from you is your creativity. So by that, he means he wants me to give um, my creativity away 
No, he wants me to uh, spend it, invest it, save it, or barter with it. So, whichever one of those I choose to do, that's what he wants me to do. But, but, but the investment of my creativity will yield the return of his creativity that he's giving to me that comes through me. So he, he would ask you today through me, what have I given you to, um, what currency have I given you? And ask me what you, you ought to do with this currency. Um, cause a, a lot of us have so many gifts, but we waste our currency. We waste what God has given us. We waste time. We waste our love with people who take advantage of us. We waste, we waste our resources. We spend it unwisely and then we are are broke we don't have any more to give because we've spent it it's just like um money like if you if you have like a, a million dollars and you just spend it like on cars and whatever without any thought it will go like cra crazy and then you'll end up broken 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 with nothing and they say people that have won the lottery most people um about 80 to 90 percent of people um who who win the lottery really big are really are broke within um a year because they they don't they don't spend it, their their currency probably. They they buy stuff they don't need. They give it away to people uh, without thought. They spend it frivolously, and at the end, they are even broker than they were when they started, and they had just a minimal job and were working and paying their bills and living life. Um, he's saying, what is your currency and how are you going to use it? Are you going to spend it? Are you going to invest it? Are you going to save it? Are you going to barter with it? Um, and the thing with currency is once you find out what your cur currency is, it impacts not only you, but other people as well. So if I buy something, if I buy anything at the store, it's not only impacting me with the money I spent for it. It's impacting the company that made it. It's impacting the um, people that fund it. Okay, take, um, I know we got, we don't use CDs anymore, but okay, just go with me. Take a CD. If I bought a CD, and I were to, um, if I bought a CD at the store, that CD would not only benefit me for entertainment, it would, inf it would benefit the artists, the record companies, everyone who worked on that project would get a piece of the pie. And this is the artist problem with 
streaming because sometimes when streaming is free, they don't get as much on their return as they would if people had to pay. So, and it's kind of like giving away your work for free. And the Lord's saying, I've given each of you a currency, and I need you to find out what that currency is and use it wisely. Um, and the best way to use it depends on the currency. Um, sometimes with currency, the best way to use it is to spend it like love and like wisdom and to, to to impart it to people to spend it the best way and other times the best way is to save it like money and time and all all of that so like it's not one size fits all with currency it's it's um depends on the type of currency and sometimes because if you spend all your joy if you not spend if you give away all yourself all your joy to others others and you don't have anything left and you become frustrated because you've spent all this time sharing wisdom and sharing happiness with others um, and have nothing left for yourself you end up depleted although Spending joy and sharing joy is a good thing. To spend all of it is not a good thing. Um, to save some of it for yourself is a good thing. Because it may turn to anger <laughs> because... You're like, I'm, I'm being all positive. When I say spending joy, I, I mean being all positive for everyone else. And for yourself, you're kind of like, you. it ends up with negativity because you've used up all your gas on other people and have nothing for yourself and you're like god fill me up and he's like sit and he'll say save a little bit for yourself don't spend it all it, invest it so you get a return on your joy and i think that so many people have wasted so much of the currency that God has given them that they're just so broken now because they've given it all away, they've spent it frivolously, they've, they've uh, loved people that they, they shouldn't have loved or they've given stuff to people that they shouldn't have given um, and now they have nothing for themselves and now they're going to God dry and saying help me I feel depleted and, and the Lord saying uh, come to me all ye all you that labor and are happy heavy burden and I will give you rest. Um, the way you find out your currency is basically uh, through listening to God. I've gone through this before 
where you have to um, come to a place where you you get a rhythm with God, where you know how He speaks to you, where you know how He how He operates with you, because He operates in so many different ways with different people, and He the cur the currency of your life. Um, if if it's properly understood, understood, doesn't only benefit yourself. It benefits others as well. Back to that CD example that I said that when you buy a CD or a piece of music, it doesn't only benefit you for your entertainment. It, part of it goes to the record company, part of it goes to all the staff that work there, or what it, all the people who worked on that product. So if your currency only benefits you, it's not, uh, it may be part of your currency, but it's not all of it. When I say your currency, I mean the tool that God has given you to invest, spend, barter, or save. And sometimes there are different parts in your life where God will tell you, Save that piece of wisdom for her later. Save that act of love for later. Spend, give a, a, a positive word to that person so that your joy can be transferred to them. And they can uh, get some of that for some of that perspective and, and wisdom for their lives. Um, I think when you actually find the currency, the primary currency that God has given you, it'll change your whole life. What God has given you to spend, what God has given you to save, what God has given you to invest. And at different times, the same currency can be used for different things. Sometimes he may want you to spend your love, like give it away. Some, sometimes he may want you to invest it. And expect a return like with a friend or marriage or whatever. Sometimes he may want you to barter with it. Like, um, uh, to say, if you, if you do this, I'll do this for you. It, it may be like the currency of work. He may give you a, a gift for business. Like, and he may say, instead of offering that person money or having them offer you money, I want you to not work for free, but I want you to invest what you know about that particular business into that person. The Lord has a currency for you that he wants you to use for his glory, either to spend it, barter with it, save it, or invest it. Um, and he wants you to find out what that is. And once you do, it won't 
won't only change your life, but it will change the lives of those around you. Thank you for listening today, guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your comments. I really appreciate your thoughts. Don't be afraid to share share these messages. I do them for for anyone who wants to listen. I really appreciate you. Take care. Get it all, get it all together, press down, shake it together, give it all, press down, shake it together, running over. And everybody has all of these currencies to a certain measure. Like everybody has love, everybody has joy, everybody has peace and time and wisdom and all of that. But there is a certain there is a certain uh, currency that is. Um, or a certain few currencies that are more prominent in in people's lives. Like I said, for me, the cur- my primary currency is uh, creativity. Um, somebody else's uh, primary currency may be love. Not to say that I don't love people, I do, but um, I don't have a gift for that like some people do. Some people can see when when people really need like a shoulder to cry on or something is happening in their life. life. And um, that's what I mean by find your currency. Everybody does have all of these currencies, but usually there is a primary currency um, that 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 God has given that person to spend to save to barter and to invest in their lives and with other people and and when you find that currency it will change your life it will change the way you see things it'll it'll change the way you treat it and it it is phenomenal when you find your currency and there are people right now who know what their currency is, but they're afraid to use it. You know your currency is creativity, but you're afraid to step out there and be creative, whether it be musically creative, whether it be um different kinds of creative, you're afraid to step out there because you're afraid, well, what if people don't like me and whatever, but the Lord's saying, do it, I'm stepping with you, I need you to use your your currency for my glory, and um, when, like, even, even joy, um, 
you know people in your office are negative as anything and you don't say anything positive you just let them stand there and be negative the the courtesy that God has given you is encouragement joy and the ability to just raise up a room by your presence don't hide your light use it God is giving you that courtesy to barter with to invest, to spend, or to save, and find out what your currency is, it, it will change not only your world, but the worlds of those around you. And it only takes one person to find out what currency God has given them to change the world. It only takes one person's act of kindness, one person's act of love, one person's wisdom to spark something in another person and to start um, start a chain, start a chain reaction and change reaction for their lives and others. So find the currency that God has given you to to spend, invest, save, or barter with. Thanks. Bye guys. Excuse me, <laughs> that's so wrong. <laughs>